Welcome back to Money and Main Street. Every day, we talk to Long Island business owners, entrepreneurs, and newsmakers to find out their secrets to success. Here's Tamani Woolley with today's Eye on the Island. I was scared to death. Were you scared? Um, I've been through a couple of times every year. Um, it was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty scary. There's plenty of thrills and chills at Gateway's haunted playhouse of horrors in Bellport. People love to be scared. It's really fun to watch. Even the ones that say, I hate to be scared, they come because they want to be scared. Paul Allen is the co-owner of the Playhouse and mastermind behind the haunted house, which is open during October. It's really scary. It's long. It's, uh, it's affordable. It sort of has all the things that a haunted house should have. Gateway was started by Allen's grandparents, Harry and Libby Pomerin, on their estate 62 years ago. And at the time, my grandfather was running a resort hotel. And he had all these hotel guests would come out from the city to spend the summer. And his kids were interested in theater. Allen started the haunted house three years ago, and it's grown every year. And this year, we're probably up to 30, 35 minutes. It's a long path. It's twists to turn. You go up, you go down, you're on ramps, you're on stairs. You're, you, all your senses are affected. Allen says the Haunted House of Horrors gives the Playhouse a much-needed source of income during the month of October when the theater is usually closed. The Haunted House has actually proved to be very important to our operation. It turns October into a revenue-producing month. So not only does the Haunted House make a little money, it actually covers the expenses for the month of October, where typically we would have no income at all. Tickets cost 15 to $20. Allen expects about 10,000 visitors to walk through the House of Horrors this October. People are coming through it multiple times and they're telling their friends, so I'm pretty optimistic that this will be a very successful season. Allen hopes it will cap off a well-received 2011 theater season. Ha! We had a very uh, successful run of almost every show. The, um, the quality of the shows we put on this year was probably the best we've done in years. Gateway is one of three equity theaters on Long Island and generally chooses the latest musical hits leaving Broadway to fill its six show seasons. Allen says they had a couple of big hits this season. I think overall it was, would be Spamalot because it's just such a well-known title and it had the best pre-sale from the get-go. The surprise hit was actually Legally Blonde. He says Legally Blonde drew a 30% bigger audience than expected, helping to boost their bottom line. We expect to do about 50, 60% houses. So with Legally Blonde, we, you know, we got up to 60, 70%. So that's, it was a nice, a nice bump. But ticket sales were still flat overall this season, keeping the Playhouse operating at a deficit. We're still fighting the, the economy, the, the drop in disposable income so people aren't spending as much. And that's one of the reasons why we switched over to a not-for-profit this year. This is their first year operating as the not-for-profit Performing Arts Center of Suffolk County. It's been an educational process because our customers and our patrons have always known us as a commercial business. So this is the first year that we're telling them, hey, commercial business is not really working. We're not selling enough tickets to to pay all the bills. This summer they held a fundraising gala raising 10,000 much needed dollars. The gala that we did was a big eye opener. I think they realized, oh wow, this really is a, a performing arts center and they're having a gala and they're raising funds and I think we get it now. Allen says the theater will probably raise current ticket prices two to three percent next year to help cover rising expenses. I think something like that would be, uh, would be appropriate and I don't think people would kick back um, or be too upset about a ticket price increase that's fairly small. To end this year's season, Gateway will feature the children's show Mooseltoe in November, featuring the voice of Al Roker. It's about a moose who wants to fly like a reindeer and lead Santa's sleigh. So it all turns out good in the end. In December, they have a holiday-themed Cirque and Forbidden Broadway show, topped off with a dance hop for New Year's Eve. Then Allen starts planning shows for summer 2012. I'm thinking we can break even and we may even make some money. Let's hope those corporate sponsorships come through. And Alan has one dream show he hopes to get. A dream show next year, probably Chicago, because that's something we've been trying to get the rights for for years. For Money in Main Street, I'm Tamani Woolley.